The amount of people gardening spiked during the pandemic, and that was a good thing. But along with that was a huge increase in neck and back injuries. Well, Dr. Chuck Zellner is a chiropractor who's here to share some tips on how not to overdo it when you're doing that yard work, doing a little weeding, planting those flowers, all that good stuff. Welcome to the show, Dr. Chuck. Thanks so much for having me, Dr. O and Dr. Ish. Dr. Chuck, what kind of injuries are you seeing in your office when people are overdoing it? So when people are overdoing it, they're getting that bag of mulch. So they're bending and twisting and lifting. And when not performed correctly, they're injuring their lower back. It's reported that 25% of all adults will experience some low back pain or neck pain in the last three months. And 85% of all adults will experience low back pain or neck pain in their lifetime. The most common injuries are sprains and strains and disc herniations in the low back. Strains affect the tendons and muscles and sprains affects the ligaments. All right, so Dr. Chuck, you have some tips to prevent back and neck injuries. Let's get us going here. Share your first tip. Absolutely. Like one of the best tips is just warming up your body before you go out there and do it. You know, just by simply like walking in place and doing some light stretching in your house before you go and do this lifting and bending and twisting is going to warm up your muscles. And if your body is properly warmed up, you're going to decrease your chances of pulling muscles. And Dr. Chuck, you said, is it just about stretching the back and the neck before we get into it? Or should we be doing a whole body thing? No, there's some whole body things and things that you all could do just sitting too long. So one of the great stretches that you all could do is just stretching your hamstrings and hip flexors. So one of the best hamstring stretches I like to do is find something. Now this might be a little high for most people, but you see some kind of table or chair and just letting your heel on top of that will automatically stretch your hamstring, not compromising your lower back. The other thing you can do is stretch your hip flexors by taking your ankle and if, if you're, you can't quite reach your ankle, maybe use a towel to help grab that ankle around there. And by lifting up your hip flexor, you're lifting up your ankle and stretching that hip flexor. Those are kind of like a little bit guide wires and stabilizers for your low back. By stretching those, you're actually helping stretch your low back. You can also start by prepping now. Don't wait until you're going out for six to 10 hours to start from stretching. You can get on YouTube with unlimited amount of resources. And all you have to do is type in beginner gardening yoga or beginner gardening weightlifting. Put beginner and whatever exercise you want to do, and you'll have unlimited amount of resources. Dr. No Chuck, I want to get back to that bag of mulch. I want to pick that bag of mulch up. Can you show us, do you have room there, the proper way to, to lift because this is the biggest thing that people haven't yeah. stretched, they haven't warmed up, they want it, they want to get their chores done, they try to lift something the wrong way, and boom, they throw their back out. Absolutely. A lot of times people want to do something quick, thinking I'm just gonna bend at the hips and lift up. Oh no. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So what you want to do is Put your feet a little bit greater than shoulder apart and bend at your knees, picking up the bag of mulch. And the other thing is, if, if you feel like it's too heavy, it's too heavy. Get a friend or a neighbor, you know, or get one of your kids. <laughs> so have some help rather than doing too much, which is going to jeopardize and end up in my office again Monday morning. Dr. Chuck, another tip you say is to take frequent breaks, yes? Absolutely. You want to take frequent breaks and stay hydrated and stress frequently during the day. Also, don't forget to check with your chiropractor or primary care for doing any kind of exercises, strenuous, yeah. you know, lifting, because it's like cleaning your teeth or getting an oil change. Prevention can go a long way. Great tips. Listen, Dr. Tips. Chuck, thanks for coming. Thank you so Thank much. You, Chuck.